We begin our discussion of work and energy with the definition of work and the work done by a constant force. The concept of work from a physics perspective has a precise meaning that is somewhat different than its meaning in everyday language. The term work is often associated with activities that get you tired and is even used for thinking or studying in which there is no physical motion involved. In physics, however, work is defined in terms of forces and displacements. If a force F acts on an object that moves through a distance S in the same direction as the force, the work, given the symbol W, that the force does on the object is F times S. For instance, assume that a force of F equals 100 newtons acts on an object that slides a distance of 1.20 meters in the same direction as the force. The work the force does on the object is W equals FS equals 100 newtons times 1.20 meters, which equals 120 newton meters. The unit newton meter is called a joule and given the symbol J. So the work done in this case is 120 joules. A more general situation occurs when the displacement of the object in question is not parallel to the applied force, but at some angle theta with respect to the displacement. In this case, the work done by the force is given by W equals F cosine theta times S. Another way to put it is that the work is equal to the component of the force parallel to the displacement times the displacement. For instance, suppose our 100 newton force, instead of acting parallel to S, was directed at a 30 degree angle above the horizontal. The resulting work would be W equals F cosine theta times S which equals 100 newtons times cosine of 30 degrees times 1.20 meters, which equals 104 newton meters, or 104 joules, rather than 120 joules when the force was acting parallel to S. Another interesting consequence of this definition of work is the concept of negative work. For instance, if the applied force is parallel but opposite in direction to the displacement S, the angle between F and S is 180 degrees, and W equals F times cosine 180 degrees times S, or negative 1 times FS. How is this physically possible, you might ask? Imagine a weightlifter lowering a barbell to his chest. The force he exerts on the barbell is upward, but the bar moves downward. The work done by him in this case therefore is negative since the angle between the applied force and the displacement is 180 degrees. The force in the equation for work could be any force, a push or a pull, a tension, the force of gravity, an elastic force, or electric or magnetic forces. The concept of work is a general concept that will be used throughout your study of physics. In summary, the work done on an object by a force equals the force times the displacement. The unit of work is the newton meter, which is a joule. If the force acts at an angle theta with respect to the displacement, the work is equal to the component of the force that acts in the direction of the displacement, which is F times cosine theta, times the displacement S, or W equals F cosine theta times S. Finally, the work done by a force can be positive, negative, or zero, depending on the angle between the force and the displacement.